In this video, we will explore how to search for information in Shurden and how to export what you find quickly. To start a search, click on the magnifying glass in the navigation bar at the top of the screen. To perform a keyword search, like those that you perform in your web browser or in other software applications, start by clicking on the magnifying glass in the navigation bar at the top of the screen. First, select whether you are looking for an order or a particular product. Then you can enter the particular search terms that you are looking for. Here, for example, we can enter the word iPhone to see how many orders include iPhones in them or how many products use the word iPhone in the title, keywords, or product description. Because the Shurdan platform is so flexible, we created a special search language to help you look for information in a particular field. Say you want to look for products that use the word iPhone in the title only. You would indicate the name of the field, in this case, title. Then you would place a colon after the field and then add the word iPhone. When you hit return, you will quickly see the results of your search. You can also search several fields at once. Simply add a space and enter a new field, colon, and value combination, such as here when we can look for titles with the word iPhone in them with a price of $6.99. You can also use this function to filter information. Let's say you wanted to know how many products you have in the system that have less than 10 items left in the inventory so you can know what items you need to restock. For this you would do a field specific search. You would type in stock for the field, add the colon, and then since you want to filter, you'll need to add a modifier. In this case, you can add a less than sign. If you add an equal sign right after, then you can search for a value that's less than or equal to. Enter the number on which you want to filter, in this case 10, and hit enter. Now you have a list of all products in Shurdan that have 10 or less items in stock. You can also use other modifiers, such as the ones you see here on the screen. The minus sign, for example, is always used to indicate that you want to search for things that are not equal or not less than a particular value. If you need a handy reference for all the modifiers, you can find them in our guides. If this is a search you are going to use often, you can save this search by clicking on Save Search and giving it a title. You can always then come back to the Save Search by choosing the one you wanted from the Load a Save Search drop-down menu. If you are happy with the results you see, click on Export to create a table of the information you, so you can download it. To grab the download, you can click on the Export tab from the Product menu. When it is ready for downloading, a download link will appear for you to click on. Keep in mind that larger exports may take some time to be ready. To open, simply click on the downloaded file. Exporting straight from the product page will pull all the fields associated with the products in that list. This can sometimes be an overwhelming amount of information, and it may be better to only export certain fields of data. You can do this from the export page. Add the search terms or terms you want to use in the search bar. You can select a type, such as product, to filter the export. Then you want to decide if you want to remove or include the information that matches your search criteria in the download. Once you've done that, select the fields that you are interested in exporting. In order to choose multiple fields, you can hold down the shift key to select all the fields between the first field you click on and the last, or you can also hold down the control key to select individual fields one at a time. Let's rerun our stock less than or equal to 10 search here. We'll choose to include all products that fit that criteria. Now we'll select just the fields we want. In this case, a SKU, title, stock, and price. Let's export our results. We can find the export download link below when it is done. Now that we've downloaded and opened the file, we can see that we've gotten just the exact information that we were looking for. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to find and export any information you need from the SureDun system. Now that you've mastered how to seek and export information, you can create powerful workflows for your business.